I mean, people want these tickets. And they are, it seems like. Okay, all right, this morning... Here's, here's the thing. I, I wish they would stop using this breaking news thing all the time. I mean, even at night, like they'll say breaking news tonight, and it's something I heard at 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> right. I mean, they're abusing the breaking news mm-hmm. thing yes. or the or the Fox News alert thing and all that stuff. I don't know. I know the other stations do it, too, but I don't really pay attention much to them. But they, they do it too much. Yeah. It's not breaking if it's nine hours old. I mean, it's just the, the way it is. You can only get away with that for a short amount of time, I think. Well, they've you know. gotten away with it for years, it seems. But anyway, so uh, this morning, Pete Hegseth interviewed President Trump, and he let us in on a little secret about some conversations he had with NFL owners about this anthem thing. I have so many friends that are owners, and they're in a box. I mean, I've spoken to a couple of them. They say, we are in a situation where we have to do something. I think they're afraid of their players. You want to know the truth. Yeah, I mean, so (laughs) it's pretty interesting how... The president had these conversations, and and remember, the minute this happened, I came in and I said, I wouldn't be surprised if this was a setup almost, and the owners are secretly happy about it, because their ratings have dived, their stadiums are emptying. I mean, the Rams have been suffering greatly, but not that we care about that, but they've been suffering because nobody's going to their games. So, I mean, some of the owners, even though some of them, I guess, are pretending to be upset with President Trump, might actually be secretly happy. We'll see. All right. So I've got my buddy Jeff Wallman in here from Bethesda Health, and this has become a yearly tradition, my friend. Uh, Jamie, uh, thrilled to be here. Yeah. And you are truly a friend to this campaign. So thank you so much for having me. <laughs> well, I love it. And having an elderly mom myself, and of course, she's uh, very healthy and she's a whippersnapper. But nonetheless, you never know when something happens. And Bethesda has this really cool emergency medical information kit. Jeff, tell me what it's what that's all about. Sure, Jamie. Uh, Bethesda uh, Health Group is a uh, senior living care and service organization that's been in the St. Louis area for 128 years now. And so therefore, obviously, safety is a high priority of ours, not just for the seniors that we care for and the seniors that live in our communities, but the general public as well. So we have put together um, a personal emergency medical information kit that is free of charge. People can um, just go onto our website and secure one free of charge. And we're very proud to be offering this kit to the entire metro area. We we look at it as a community service. Well, and the cool thing about it is it's a unique kit only because it's it's not I mean you think it's like some kind of thing it doesn't have like a you know breathing tube in it or anything what it is is just it's it's a medical information kit and you basically keep it in your freezer right so basically this is a kit that is designed to help out first responders because when it doesn't matter if you're an older adult or not when you're in a crisis at your home uh, you're not going to remember you know you may not be responsive so you wouldn't be able to share information with first responders anyway right but even if you're the spouse of someone who's going through an episode, you probably will not have the uh, frame of mind to think about all of the incidentals that a first responder would need to know. So therefore, we um, are encouraging, of course, but it's a good idea to have some sort of information kit so that the first responders have easy access to all of the information that they really need to know to be able to provide the assistance that the person needs. So yeah, you have uh, medications, allergies, emergency contacts, physicians, all kinds of stuff listed on there. Right. And then, of course, because it's in the freezer like well how do they know that it's in there and then you also have a little magnet right they put on there okay exactly so we have a printout it is a four panel printout that um, asks the person so they have to fill out the information if they don't fill it out it's not going to do any good and that's one of the issues that we know uh, occur people may get the kit but they don't necessarily keep it or keep it up to date but it's an opportunity not just to put your personal information in there but uh, it provides insurance information it provides space for insurance emergency contacts your hospital of choice, your physicians and their phone numbers, any known medical conditions you have, any allergies that you have, medications that you're taking. So it's a lot of important information. It all goes in this freezer safe plastic pouch that you put in the freezer along with other. uh, We provide a, a do not resuscitate form. Um, that is appropriate for those who are not in the hospital. Um, we also suggest that there are other pieces, important pieces of information like a living will or, yeah, or, or, yeah. Or, or things like that. And you just put it in the freezer. Sounds crazy, but you put it in the freezer because that's where the first responders are trained to look for information. And as you pointed out, to help you out, we have a magnet as part of the kit. Right. And we suggest that you put the kit, the, the magnet 
um, on the refrigerator or on the freezer, and first responders then have a second uh, identification to know to go into the uh, freezer for this information. Well, and, and that's what the, my, was my other question, like how do they know it's in there, and, that, and, it's, and they're all trained to look for that particular piece of information. And we know offhand, that, firsthand I should say, that... Uh, when the first responders see that magnet, it just kind of solidifies their uh, their belief that yeah. it's going to be in there. So it okay. works out great. But yeah, and but but they all they're all pretty much uniformly informed. That's, that's what's the that, deal. That's is. what that's we great. understand, and it's a it's a great place to put it when you think about it because there aren't you know if you put it in a desk if you put it no, in right. a cabinet yeah. you know people have multiple of those you pretty much only have one refrigerator freezer most likely right. in your home or especially in your kitchen. And you can also slip a little frozen treat into the pouch too for for them so as they as they're helping you out. All right, Jeff Waldman, great to see you. So how do we get a hold of this? Yeah, um, all you need to do is go on to the BethesdaHealth.org uh, website. So BethesdaHealth.org and backslash safety. Or you can just go to our landing or our homepage, uh, BethesdaHealth.org, scroll to the very bottom of the homepage, and on the right you will see uh, a little promo for the uh, personal emergency medical information kit. Right. Just uh, click on that and fill out the form, and in about uh, four to six weeks, hopefully you will have a kit uh, waiting for you in your mailbox. Well, fantastic. Thank you so much, Jeff Waldman.